Hey Alec here, if you're wondering if Kotlin is a good programming language to learn in 2022, in this video, I'm going to talk about it. My perspective in this video is going to be more about how much money can you expect to make if you go to Kotlin and is it a good financial decision for you? Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, salary. I'm going to talk about money you can make. I'm going to talk about job opportunities and how easy it could be for you to find jobs or how likely you would be to not find jobs compared to other options. I think the first thing that you need to consider when it comes to Kotlin is that it's usually used in native mobile app development, okay? That means that you're building apps that are for one mobile platform, either iOS or Android. And what that means is that the types of companies that you could be working for is very limited, okay? Because what type of company would either want to build an app that either just work on works on iOS or only on Android, or what type of companies would wanna build both their app on iOS native and native on Android. Like these are the types of companies. And you have to think to yourself, what type of company would want to do that in a world where they could also hire a developer who can build mobile apps that are cross-platform for like the same price as building one of these two or better in, in the same range? What type of company would choose to sacrifice half of that market or would choose to pay twice as much money to develop both of these uh, simultaneously? big companies. And if you've seen my video on whether or not you should learn C-sharp in 2022, I've been very vocal about the fact that uh, you don't want to be working, you don't want to learn technologies that are usually uh, required by bigger companies if you don't have a degree. And that's pretty much what Kotlin is. And the problem with big companies, okay, this is one of the biggest like things that I realized about when it comes to getting hired as a developer. The reason why so many people go on to learn for months development and end up in my comment section, end up on Reddit, end up on all these places on the internet. And after like one year or something of learning development, they can't find jobs. The thing is, a lot of them, if you look at their situation, you'll see they have learned technologies that are more used in bigger businesses than smaller businesses. Now, what's the thing? Like bigger businesses, they're less willing to give developers who don't have a degree a shot. Why is that? And if you want an example of how much of a difference it can make, I see people who have been looking for months for their first jobs online. And I've been able to find my first job by going to small agency, a small business. I found my first job after sending my resume to two places. It took me less than a week. That's the type of difference it can make. And the thing is, if you're going to small businesses, who is going to make the decision to hire you or not? Who is going to interview you? Most of the time, it's going to be the business owner. What does he want? What's his motivation? What is he looking for when he's hiring developers? The only thing he's caring about is profit. The only thing he's caring about is what kind of results you are going to be able to deliver to the company. It's very simple for a developer who doesn't have a degree to find jobs in these places. You just have to convey to that individual that you are good, that you are a good option as, as soon as he believes that you're a good developer and that hiring you will make him money, you're set. But when it comes to bigger companies, they have the person who's gonna be recruiting you has completely different motivation. Who are they? They're usually gonna be managers, they're gonna be recruiters, they're, they can be many positions, but they're not gonna be the CEO. And now they have multiple different uh, motivations when it comes to hiring people. Yes, they will be usually concerned about the results that you are going to bring to the company. Yes, they are gonna be concerned about whether or not you're, you're, you're a good developer, but they're also going to be concerned about covering up their ass and protecting their job and making sure their boss is not gonna yell at them, making sure that their boss is happy with their decision. And the thing is, if you don't have a degree, uh, what are gonna, they gonna say to their boss after the boss comes to them and says, why have you hired someone who doesn't have a degree? And worse than that, if you fuck up and you end up not being a good developer, what are, gonna what are they gonna say to their manager or their boss if you fuck up? The reason they often won't hire you is not because they don't believe you're good, or that they still have the delusion that you need to have a degree to be good, it's often because they don't wanna get in trouble themselves for that decision. And often they're gonna take the safe decision of always hiring 
people who have degrees. So right there, even if we stopped right here with just that reason, that would probably be in my book enough of a reason for you to avoid Kotlin. But I'm going to talk about more than that. More than that, Kotlin is a mobile app programming language. And what's the problem with mobile app is that it's a much smaller market than web development, for example. And what you see over and over is people wanting to become mobile app developers, but they realize they don't have enough jobs in their local area and they can't find uh, mobile jobs. So they either have to move to another city like New York, Austin, Texas, or they have to change their specialization. And oftentimes they become web developers because the skill set for a mobile app developer and a web developer are like 70% the same. So they can easily transition. And so unless you are willing to possibly have to move you, you should probably not go with Kotlin. And you also have the problem that like, if you can't find a job, what are you going to do if all you know is fucking Kotlin? What, what are you fucking going to code? What are you going to do if you can't code anything else in Kotlin? At least if you learn like uh, Python or React JS that are other technologies that can be used to build app mobile, app dev- mobile apps, at least with that, you have good opportunities to find other jobs. Have you seen how many people are hiring JavaScript developers, React developers, uh, Python developers online? Like JavaScript and Python are two about amongst the three most in demand programming languages right now. There's a ton of opportunities for both. They both uh, usually pay very well. And if you can't find a mobile job for JavaScript or Python, it shouldn't be that hard to find other types of jobs for JavaScript and Python especially considering the fact that they're both programming languages. They're very used in small businesses, which is where you'll have the biggest chance of getting hired if you don't have a degree getting started. If you want to get a job, unless you already have a degree and you're already living in a big city and you've checked like on indeed.com, if there are good opportunities for Kotlin in your area and you've, you've noticed these opportunities, unless you've seen these opportunities and you have all of these things going for you, I don't see how Kotlin should be uh, the, uh, the the programming language that you should learn. And when it comes to freelancing, Kotlin also doesn't have that much opportunities. And because there are basically two types of freelance clients, there's basically small businesses and uh, bigger businesses. If you're working for small businesses, you're either working directly with them or with agencies that basically go to them, find jobs for you. Basically, both these options doesn't don't work because these small businesses usually don't want Kotlin. The other option is basically working for big businesses, which we've already stated don't want to give much opportunities to people who don't have a, de- have a degree. So if you want to be a freelancer or are considering maybe freelancing someday, you'd be much better off learning React JS or Python. And honestly, I'm seeing all these people like talking about Kotlin online, saying how amazing it is, how amazing it is to code with Kotlin. And I'm seeing all these people like looking at this and probably thinking like, oh, I want to do Kotlin. Oh, it looks amazing. But the thing is, choosing what kind of career you're going to choose, it shouldn't be only about how much you like the technology. It should be about what kind of opportunities that you can expect to get after you've learned it. You don't want to spend nine months learning this shit or probably less, but you don't want to spend months learning this shit and not finding good career opportunities after that. So that's my opinion on Colton. If you have more technologies that you would like me to talk about, tell me in the comments. I might make a video like this on it uh, very soon. And if you're curious about JavaScript, which is one of the programming languages that I've been recommending in this video, you can click right here to see my video that I've made similarly on on JavaScript. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.